the little girl who lives in the walls. When my wife and I bought our first house, an old Victorian style built in the 50s, almost every night we heard what sounded like a kid's footsteps running down the upstairs hallway and other random sounds. My wife mentioned it to one of the neighbors and they said it was probably just peacocks on the roof. The house backed up to a conservation area where wild peacocks lived and they would occasionally get up on the rooftops. That answer made sense, so we basically got used to it and eventually ignored it. Less than a year later, our son was born, and when he was one, he would balance all of his toys on top of other toys and made them spin, literally found the center of balance of various toys and would walk in a circle around the room, giving each a gentle touch to keep it rotating. It was the weirdest and coolest thing I had ever seen. When he was two or three, we would hear him talking in his room at night. And one night, I asked who he was talking to. He said, Tracy. I asked who is Tracy, and he says, The girl who lives in the wall. She's usually nice, but sometimes she scares me. He described a girl with brown hair and a yellow dress who would play with him sometimes, and occasionally wake him up at night, but... He didn't seem bothered by any of it, just startled sometimes. He would talk about her once in a while, but it wasn't a common occurrence. A couple years later, we had added on to the house and moved the master bedroom downstairs, switching the kids' rooms around. Our youngest was now in his old room and about ready to transition from crib to toddler bed. She had always been a sound sleeper, but she cried almost every night in that room. Her first night in the toddler bed, we heard a loud thud, followed by screaming, and rushed into the room, thinking she had fallen out of bed. She was on the other side of the room. Got her calmed down and back to bed, and it happened again the next night. So we ended up switching the kids' rooms back, and they were fine. We looked up the history of the house, but didn't find anything about any missing little girls or anyone with the name Tracy that had lived there. Eventually, our son stopped talking about her, and a few years later, I ended up taking a job with another company, and we moved. The house was empty for a few months after we moved, and the neighbor across the street called my wife one day. Said about a week after we left, she thought she saw our daughter looking out the window. So she waved to her, and then she remembered. We didn't live there anymore. <laughs> <laughs>